Now, my next two guests. Well, one is a TV presenter whose bark is worse than her bite. The other is a fashion designer whose style leaves a lot to be desired. <laughs> and now they're both branching out. <laughs> Why have I kept mentioning bits of trees and stuff like that? Well, this year is the year of the tree, and my next guests are two enterprising, stylish ladies who are launching a celebrity tree planting event to raise public awareness about the plight of our trees. Come with me and get to know Trudy Skye and Yvonne Boyd. Knowing me, Alan Partridge, knowing you, Trudy Skye and Yvonne Boyd, aha. Aha. Now, if I can get my teeth into Trudy first. Trudy, <laughs> you are known chiefly as presenter of the show on BBC Two's Deaf Leopard. <laughs> no, Deaf Two. Right, you present Deaf Two on Deaf Leopard. No, I present my show, The Show, on Deaf Two. Right. Now, for the benefit of my listeners, uh, tell us briefly as possible about The Show. Well, it's very much a cult thing. Small um, viewing figures, carry on. <laughs> well, it's a sort of multimedia um, potpourri, if you like, of uh, music, art, dance, cabaret, culture, floating sculpture. Um, and it's, it sort of aimed at teenagers with, like, a four-second attention span. Yeah. Well, I have to say, my teenage children, Fernando and Denise, are avid, <laughs> avid watchers. Babo. I, on the other hand find it completely exhausting. Um, it's so fast. I thought our telly was on the blink, it was changing all the time. Well, it's very much in-your-face television. Yes, I did feel it in my face, yes. <laughs> yeah, I thought my head was going to explode, like, uh, like in that film. Um, <laughs> let me move on to you, Yvonne Boyd. You are a fashion designer, but you don't design clothes that ordinary people would wear in the street. You design more kind of outlandish, sort of funny-looking clown-type costume things. Well, I mean, I really think that all clothes are a statement. I mean, my bank manager couldn't wear one of your clown costumes, for example. Well, why not? Because he'd look ridiculous. <laughs> he'd look like a clown. Yes, but, I mean, what I would say to you is, would you say that he looked ridiculous if he was wearing, like, um, a long bit of striped cotton with flaps around the neck and wrist and, and maybe a bit of brightly coloured silk around the neck? Yes, that would look silly. Right, so you would think that he looked silly in a shirt and tie. Ah, oh, I see. Very clever. <laughs> um, yeah. OK, my bank manager looks stupid, right, and you look normal wearing what I can only describe as a shrub on your head. It is a shrub. It's my shrub hat. And the statement you're making, presumably, is I'm wearing a shrub on my head. <laughs> All clothes, as I said, are a statement of something, so what I'm wearing is a statement, and what you're mm. wearing now, which is... Um, a, a, a sort of fuchsia and sage Pringle jumper with, um, <laughs> with the golfer design knitted into Thank it. Thank you. Um, that also is making a statement. I mean, that is saying, you know, I am a performer. Look, look, I'm bright and exciting. Right. Well, yes, it is. It is. I mean, it's saying, I'm Adam Partridge. I am sports casual. <laughs> um, I mean... How would you describe me as a figure? What would you say I was? I would say that you were a, a sort of Rococo figure, a, a kind of mock Baroque, if you like. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Knowing me, Alan Partridge, mock Baroque. <laughs> Knowing you, Yvonne Boyd, tree lady. <laughs> now, now, the reason why you're both here is to promote your tree campaign. Trudy, tell us about that. Well, Tree Naissance 93 is a sort of... <laughs> it's a sort of massive tree-planting eco-drive to raise consciousness. And what we're saying, basically, is germination, not termination. We're saying... <laughs> we're saying sapling, not grappling. <laughs> we're saying nurture, not torture. Great. I've got a good one for you. Um, I thought of it up in the car on the way, the way down. Uh, build a tree! Don't cut it down, for goodness sake. <laughs> 
put that on a t-shirt. Um, now, when, when did you first get the idea for Tree Naissance 93? Well, it was actually on one of our hen runs. Um, right. Oh, yes, the infamous hen runs. Tell us about those. Well, it's uh, once a month, about 30 of us girlies get together and go on a coach trip at sort right. of women only, just to sort of crazy Who, and exciting What kind of places. people go on these trips? Oh, just friends, you know, Yasmin Lebon, Annie Lennox, Katie Puckrick. Juliet um, Stevenson. Yeah, yeah, Faye Weld and Janet Street Porter. Pamela yeah. Stevenson. Yeah, yeah. Zoe yeah. Heller, the Chumleys. Yeah, yeah, I get the picture. No, that lot, yeah. <laughs> I think the, the, the day that it sort of rose in our collective psyche was... Um, when you got the idea. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Was uh, an outing to Margate where we had a wonderful day and uh, we actually just chanced upon this incredible greasy calf on the seafront. It's really it was, extraordinary. It was so kitsch. It was like, uh, I can't describe it. There were like dirty tablecloths and the floor was filthy and the waiter was Italian. The and... waiter had actually been born in Italy and he'd come over here to work as a waiter. Really? Amazing. Really? They had these, um, on every table they had like plastic red tomatoes which you squeezed and, and you got tomato ketchup out of them but they looked like a sort of Robert Rauschenberg. Um, they they were sort of, they were too big for themselves. And uh, they inspired Yvonne to launch her tomato collection, which was sort of plastic red puffball dresses with a stomach design of a green nozzle. <laughs> Something else for my bank manager to wear. <laughs> but to get back to the original question, tell me about tree naissance. I suppose it was a very wacky do and everyone was really trendy. Presumably uh, you went dressed as a, a, a banana or something like that, all no, bent. No, I went wearing what I'm wearing now, part of my tree collection. You went wearing what, what you're wearing now? I hope you change your underwear. <laughs> I don't wear underwear. Of course you do. No, I don't. I don't. You do, you just trying to be wacky. I'm not being wacky. I don't approve of underwear. I see it as a f restriction of personal freedom, and I've never worn it. And I Ball the dash. I Everyone wears not underwear. Not you don't. Do. I'm do. not lying. You don't wear... call me a liar. You do. You do. Don't, right, I'll show you. Don't, no, don't do that. Don't do that. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, God, I can't get it out of my head. I just I can still see it. That's atrocious. You, ladies and gentlemen, she just showed me her woman's area. Thank goodness it's radio. I never thought I'd say that. Relieved. That was atrocious. If you go around calling people liars on your show, then you've got to expect you, people to show their veracity. You will not show your veracity on my show. I just want to say, if, anyone, if anyone's listening to this, I had no idea that they were going to be so candid. <laughs> and to make quite clear my abhorrence, I now will tell them to leave. <laughs> and in addition to that, I will ask the audience to boo them. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tudy Sky and Yvonne Boyd. Good night. Boo them. <laughs> boo them. Go on. Boo them. That's right. And hiss them.